I'm Don Smith with NewsVideo.com. I'm going to show you rigging in motion as demonstrated by the great Andy Neal. His presentation was before a live audience and it was long, divided into two video segments, and the video was of low quality, no fault of, of Neal's. So I learned from that tutorial and I'm going to recreate it here succinctly I'm going to go fast because you can always scrub back through the video to review anything that you might have missed. The only thing I might do differently is rigging. I do it uh, a little bit differently, sort of backwards. So I've started a new effect in motion. And I've hit Shift Z to fit the effect source to the frame. And you may know that the effect source takes on the video of whatever video in the in Final Cut that you lay this uh, effect on. And so we're going to clone that and the clone layer takes on the characteristics of the effect source. Except on the clone layer we're going to mask it to either an oval or a rectangle and apply blurs. And so with the clone layer selected let's select some blurs. We'll go to Blur and we'll go to Gaussian Blur and then we'll go to Stylize and we'll pick up Pixelade. Those are the two blurs. And while we're here on the Clone Layer group we're going to go to uh, Object Add Image Mask. You'll understand why later. Highlight the top group so that when I add a new group it's at the very top. We'll double click on it and call it Shapes. While this is selected, we're going to haphazardly draw a rectangle and an oval by selecting a circle and just being asymmetrical about it. Then we're going to put them perfectly in the center by selecting them both, going to the Inspector tab under Properties and hit this hooked arrow and that will make them both center. Now. I'm going to take the effect source and deactivate it for the moment so you can see more of what's going on. The shapes need to go into the image mask. Take the shapes group and put it into the image mask like this. And see now we've got the oval shape and the rectangle shape. So now you have all the ingredients of this effect. All you have to do now is some rigging. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Object and New Rig and we want a pop-up rig to choose which shape the user may want and we'll call this Shapes. Of course you can call it anything you like. And we'll go to the circle and we'll go to its opacity and assign the opacity to that rig. Add to Rig, Rig, Add to Shapes. We'll do the same thing with a rectangle. Go to Opacity, Add to Rig, Rig, Add to Shapes. Now when we edit the Shapes widget, we've got both the rectangle and the circle listed here. I don't go the other direction and do this start to learn and then go to each shape and come back and, and round trip like that. I just do them both directly and they appear here. So we initially have three choices. We don't need all three, so I'll just delete the first one. Take the second one and rename it to Oval. With that selected, I'll make sure that the circle, which is the oval, is full opacity and the rectangle is turned off. Then I'll go to the other snapshot, rename it Rectangle. and make sure the rectangle is full opacity and the circle is off. So there you've done your first rig already. How easy was that? Oval, rectangle. Now we do the same thing for the blurs. Here's the pixelate and Gaussian blur is the filters. Let's go to rig, create a new pop-up and let's rename that pop-up blur type And then uh, we'll go to the uh, filters 
and we'll choose the mix and we'll add to rig rig add to blur type let's do the same thing for the gaussian blur go to mix add to rig rig blur type let's go to the blur type widget we don't need the first one we'll rename the second one blur and make sure the gaussian blur is all the way up and the pixelate is all the way down let's choose snapshot 3 rename it to pixelate make sure the pixelate is all the way up and the gaussian blur is down now we've done another rig again very easy what we need now is uh, a control so we can control how much blur and that sounds like a slider to me so let's do slider and let's call it blur amount so let's go back to the filters for pixelate the pixelate amount would be the scale so we'll add it to the rig rig add to blur amount for the Gaussian blur it's the amount slider so add to rig rig add to blur amount so let's edit this the blue dot indicates what's being edited in the all the way off state we have both uh, blurs all the way off in the all the way on state we'll have the Gaussian blur all the way up we'll take the pixelate about halfway just because I know going any further just is uh, a little crazy so there's that setting and as you slide between them you see how they change you've done another rig now all we have to do is publish them let's publish that one let's publish this one and let's publish this one so in the project here's what the user will see in Final Cut Pro 10 let's uh, make the shapes the first choice and the blur type the second choice the blur amount here's the rectangle here's the oval pixelate blur the amount and the final thing to do and then we'll be done is take the shapes group go to properties and publish the position parameter the rotation and the scale so here's what the uh, end user will see oval blur pixelate rectangle all the choices are there the blur amount you can open these disclosure triangles and uh, get uh, additional parameters for example if you wanted the X scale wider or the Y scale wider you've got it there and that's it you simply save it name it put it in the uh, category that you want and hit publish and you will have an effect and you've learned how to rig in motion that's a tutorial from Andy Neal, and I hope I've done it justice in recreating it here. I'm Don Smith with NewsVideo.com.